of stuff to get done. First step, shoot the headstones that spawn in this order. Two, three, one, and then four over here at the end. Make sure you shoot them in that order. If you mess up, just make sure you wait a few seconds and try it again. That will spawn this stone somewhere randomly on a jump pad. This one happens to be on Shangri-La. So we're going to activate the gatekeeper. Bring him over here to Shangri-La. Hold square on this tiny little stone. That's what the headstones actually activated and made spawn on the map by shooting those. So we activate the keeper. Hold square. He's going to stay here for about 5 or 10 minutes. It takes him a while. So keep a zombie in a window. It makes it real easy to do that if it's a zombie in the window. When he's done, grab this piece here. Take it all the way back over to the knocked, and this will start the step two of the egg. So you can listen to the reel. Here's step two. You're going to go inside the apothecon. It does not matter what order you do them in. I do the same order every time because it makes it easy for me to remember. So what I do, as soon as I hop in here, I look right over here to the left, and I throw the first one in here. Second one will be right up over here from the entrance. And then we'll throw this one in. This will be two. Now these come in series of threes. So here's the third one here. Now when this third one hits, you'll hear a weird sound and a bunch of margwas will spawn in. Three to be exact. So here's the margwas. Now I'm going to speed this up for you. You don't need to watch me kill all these guys. So we're going to kill these three margwas here. Once we kill those, it activates the next step. Sometimes you get lucky and get a max. We didn't get him this time, so Kick's going to throw his arnies in. He's going to throw it right here to the right of the entrance. And the second one's right past there. Sometimes it's easier to crouch or lay down to get those Arnies in there. Uh, you don't want to miss. So here's the other one here, the final one here for this set of three. If you miss, just make sure you remember which one you missed and which one you're on so you can go back. You don't want to duplicate the same hole three times. She'll laugh at you if you mess it up. So here's three more Margwas. We're going to kill these guys. And now we're at the final three ventricles. So right over by Pack-a-Punch, we're going to start right by the exit. Toss one in here. Go straight across from the pack. Toss this one down in here. And the third and final is up top here on the final catwalk. And this will spawn in your three purple-headed margwas. Kill these three margwas. I'm going to skip this again for you here so you don't have to watch this. After you kill these three, watch out, they will drop a lot of nukes on you guys. So come up here and she'll drop a, another audio reel right up on the small catwalk there by pack a punch Take this audio reel down into Kino Der Toten here on the stage and put it behind the stage here. There you go. So once that one's in, it activates this, st this step for the stones. You have to have a pack-a-punch gun to break the stone and then a pack-a-punch apothecan to pull the, the bone in. So once you break the stone, it turns into a bone. First location is Spawn Church. Second location here is Verruckt in the Waterfall, right when you, right by the corruption engine when you exit. It's kind of hard to see, but it's, uh, it's over there. It's, I believe that's the hands. So once you get that over there, shoot with the pack punch gun, break the stone, the bone pops up, shoot it with the apothecan, pull it in, and we're off to the next location. This one is right by the Origins footprint, right by the gatekeeper here. So you can see this stone, shoot that with a pack of punch weapon, doesn't matter which one, as long as it's packed, and then shoot it with the apothecan. Alright, now that the apothecan's pulling it in, we're going to go to the next location. And the next location here is going to be a Derizing Drock. This is the wall run. Sometimes you can shoot it from standing there, but I'm going to show you the uh, other way to get it, the conventional way. It's right here on the edge of this crescent moon-shaped piece. So right here I'm going to shoot it, and you see the spine pop out. There you go. So the spine's up, and from over here you have your buddy with the Apothecan. Just shoot the corner of that crescent-shaped wall run there, and it'll pull in the spine. There he goes. He shot the crescent side. Try not to shoot the back one because it won't pull it in from over there. So the fifth location is Shangri-La. It's right above the stamina of machine. There's a stone right there. And we shot it. Uh, we didn't show you that. We, uh, the, but the stone is there. You can't miss it. It's un undeniable. And the skull pops up. Pull it in. And that will be Shangri-La. Location six is going to be Nocturne Toten. This one here, guys, just shoot it right here where the broken section of Noct is. You can see like a little pancake-looking rock there. Uh, shoot that, and you'll see the feet pop up. Shoot the feet with the apothecan, and that will be all the bones that you need to retrieve. Now, these are Sophia's bones that are out there floating around in the aether or whatever, and they show up right here. You'll know you have them all when they're laying here in Noct or on Toten on the floor. So shoot those with the apothecan, 
and then I'll pull her bones up and replace it with Sophia's zombie body. Shoot her zombie body with the apothecan, and that will pull her body up. Now from there, it's going to drop down into the, movie, or the audio reel again. And there's our reel. So we're going to take this reel over to Origins, up to the top there. Put it up in the top of Origins right here, and that will activate the next step. So this one is powering up Sophia. What we're going to do is we're going to go to all the corruption engines, and we're going to fire them up and aim at these little stones up here in the sky and reflect them off those stones. You'll know you've done it right when it kicks you off. As you can tell here, I'm going to aim at this stone, and it'll start turning around, and it automatically kicks me off when it locks on. So it's locked. We have to get all four of those to lock on. So we're going to have Marcus do this one at spawn here. He reflects it, and as you can tell, when he gets it, it just kicks him off the engine. So that one's locked, and then we're going to go get Kick to do his. Now, sometimes these things do glitch out. You will not see them. They'll be locked. They'll kick you off, but the beam will not be there. Uh, as you can tell, I think this yeah, happens to Kick. So it's locked. It's there, but you can't see the beam. So if that happens. Don't worry about it, guys. It's just a Treyarch glitch. And so we're going to come up here. And Sophia is active. All four beams are pointed at Sophia now. And you hold square, and she turns into a actual movable object. And uh, go ahead and hop on her, ride her all the way down, follow her all the way through Dreisendrock, and back to the Kino stage. You'll, if you keep following her, she'll land here. If you don't follow her, she'll kind of get stuck sometimes. So make sure you follow her. And now the teleporter is active. This is the first time we're going to teleport. A little side quest, if you have the wisp, grab it now, bring it back over here to the teleporter without getting touched. If you get touched, you'll lose it. And this is the Takios Katana side quest. This would be the time to do it. So when you get back over here to Kino, make sure no zombies are going to touch you, and have everybody hop into the teleporter at one time. We all hop in, hold square, and it boots us out. This first teleporter ride will bring us to Samantha's bedroom. And as you can tell, we'll put the Wisp in here, and you'll see it activate. There you go. That activates Takio's Katana, and every weapon we get from here on out in this game will be Pack-a-Punched. So we won't have to buy Pack-a-Punched weapons now. Hit this for a little bit of side music and some fun, and then grab this book here. This book is the part of the main quest egg. So it'll boot you out of here in a second. Once it does, you take your book to the podium, place it here, and that will spawn in your Gateworm eggs. And from this location, I'm going to have everybody follow me around here, and we're just going to grab our eggs. So there's two here in Kino, one right to the right down there, kind of by the Bowie knife. Another one right up here on top. A lot of people miss that one. It's kind of hiding there. You can hear these if you turn your mic up. They kind of make like a water dripping sound. So we're going to have Yule grab that one. Next location is right outside Kino here by that little lower door. And another location is in the Guardian Room right here by these candles. And we're going to take it down to Shangri-La. There's one in the fire. That's where it's actually at in this game. Now, these locations change, so just uh, look around for them. There's another location right here where it would spawn in, around that little ledge. And then uh, over here it's spawn. Now, when you hit spawn here, it's going to be right here by the garbage can. Or it's going to be over on top of this garbage can, or to the right down there on the ground behind you. So there's another location here at uh, Mob the Dead slash Origins. There's where our egg location actually is. It's lurking right there by the cell. Another spot for it in here would be up by the Keeper, right in those stones there. Or up top here by the uh, Wonder Fizz machine. It'd be right on the ground kind of hiding in the snow down there. So that's the other location. Then we have Verruckt, and it's actually right here on the ground in Verruckt for us, which it rarely is there when you do this egg. It's usually uh, up top here. It's usually right up here is where I find it, right back in that little corner hiding. Or it's going to be over here in between the two green gobule things. Take all four of these eggs back into the apothecary. Throw them back in these mysterious looking egg holders here, and it'll pull them in. And once we're down... You don't have to have all four players there, but uh, it's better if you do in these low rounds because then all the zombies spawn in one location. 
So all these eggs are going to go down in here, and then we just start killing zombies, guys. Uh, it, the spiders, the bugs, they don't count anymore. They patch that. You used to be able to just kill bugs and then fill them up, which is excellent. Now it has to be zombies. So as you can tell, when you kill them by your egg, you'll see the souls go in. Now one guy can do all four eggs. That's fine. You don't need each player to do it. You can do their eggs for them if you like. It just takes a little longer. So we filled them up. You'll notice that your gateworm will pop back up out of that pod there. So you grab your gateworm. Now you have to go find your gateworm symbols. Now I'm going to take you around to all the locations here. First location is going to be back at spawn, right there on that rock by Quicker Vibe. You'll hear like a weird radar ping when you get close to them. Next location is right there on the wall. And then the other third location to spawn is going to be right here by this window. You just walk up to the left of the window, right about there, and hold square, and it'll pop out of the window there. So I'm going to take you over to Shangri-La now. Shangri-La would be right here in the middle. You just hold square and it'll pop out of that monkey symbol. Or you go up here to the guardian and you hold square right on that box. And uh, kick. It, it doesn't matter who grabs it. You, know, you can hear the location for everyone as long as someone grabs this location. It will glitch out though. Now that kick grabbed his, I'll still hear the ping permanently until I get mine. So the other one's right there by the, the pyramid. Then the cage of Verrupt. Right there at that door. And then it's going to be right here outside the wall at Verrupt by the Jump Pad to Kino. And then up here by the Green Gobs again. It'll pop out of that machine. And then Mob and Origins will pop out of the wall here. You hold square on it. Now these locations will change. Once you hear the ping, that's when you know it's your spot. So I heard the ping here. I held square. And then I'm going to have my worm pop out. And the symbol pop up. Grab the symbol. You'll know you have them. So once all four players have their symbols, it's time to teleport from the Kino room. And the final spot up here, guys, is right there by that wall. So here we go. Once you get all four, you can all move into the projector room and stand on this weird symbol that glitches out all the time and go get the summoning key. Now we're almost done here. This is the strange part. This book reveals symbols, apothecan symbols. Now that one is number two. Alright, if you need to tell, just press your sensor pad and it'll pop up. That's the second symbol on our list. So next one's going to be three. It's the third symbol on our list. So what's our next one going to be? See, one, two, three, and four. It's going to be number four. So our code will be two, three, four, one. It has to be one last. So we're going to run across over here up to the top. And these symbols will start popping up. We want to do it in this order, 2, 3, 4, 1. So we're going to wait for number 2 to pop up. There's number 2. And so you see it'll lock up there. If you do these orders wrong, it'll kick you out of this room and you have to do it again. So now it'll try and trick you. It'll throw these other symbols up here that mean nothing. It'll, it'll throw tricky ones up there. Make sure you only hold square on your symbol. And try not to get your friends up here because if they're up here, they'll get in your way and they'll screw it up for you can't really hold square on these when your friend's standing on it. So now we're waiting for the final one here. And it's going to pop up number one. It should be rolling around here in a second. So we hit two, three, four, and one. There we go. Now it's going to activate the next step, which is going to be a Margwa fight. There's a bunch of different Margwas. There's a flame level. There's a bunch of different ones. Just jump around, kill the marks as fast as possible. Have the Thunder Gun guy wipe them out. Once you've killed all of the marks, there's a bunch of different stages here you have to pass, guys. Uh, I think it's 12 mark was total. Once you kill them all, the summoning stone will drop. You grab the stone, and you're off to the next step. This is where you have to throw the stone around to gather these strange parts. The summoning stone glitches out all the time, guys. So here's the first one. It's over here in Kino on stage. Throw it at the rocket up in the chandelier. It'll break it and then wait for the stone to finally hit the ground eventually. There you go. And we're going to bring it to Durizendrock and hit the clock that you use for the Viking helmet. And it's going to break that clock. So if you need to do the Viking helmet, make sure you've already done that step because it'll disappear. Nocturne Toten, the oil drum, up by Jug. Once that's broken, it'll throw the stone back to you. Now, if you miss, guys, don't worry. It'll, it'll come back to you, all right? The stone will always come back. This one is the jail cell at Mob of the Dead. And if you just wait in the same spot, it'll throw it right back. And here we go. This is Origins up top here. 
at that weird ice staff piece, the headstone for the ice staff. Let's give it a second, the stone will come back to you. And then this one here is a Shangri-La. This is the old reflecting stone from Shangri-La Easter Egg. And a giant symbol monkey pops out of that one. And we're going to go here to Verrupt. This is the machine gun here in the fountain. And we're just going to throw it at the machine gun. And then we're going to throw a bunch of Simtex to celebrate that that's our final one. All right. So from here, the stone will not return to you. It's done. And you'll notice the teleporter is lit back up. This is time for the final boss fight, guys. Now, once you're here, all you got to do is run up to any one of these stones and throw your summoning stone in there. Now, once this charges up, you got to throw it back into Sophia there. See how she turned blue? So you just got to kill a bunch of zombies, kill a bunch of margwas, and then it'll fill this stone up. You got to grab the stone and throw it in there. Now, this takes teamwork. It definitely takes a bunch of Arnie's, and you can do it as fast as possible. Now, if you miss and do not shoot this shadow man into the mouth of the Apothecary in the first try, it spawns in more margwas and an elemental round. It just gets harder and harder, guys. So you want to do this the first time. Get everybody ready with their big heavy machine guns. Right when you grab this stone, everyone will start firing at that apothecan. So here we go. We're going to throw it in Sophia. She's going to laser beam the Shadow Man. Now once everyone's out of our way, we're all going to light up this Shadow Man here with our LMGs. You're going to push him back into the mouth of the apothecan. Once he's back there, we hold square on that podium. You see the beam come out. He's locked in. It's over. Good job, guys. We'll see you online. Thank you for watching, it really means a lot. Thank you for liking and sharing your thoughts. So subscribe and come find me, I'll be online. We'll kill us some zombies and have